What's up, YouTube? How are we all doing today? Angry Chin. Smoking a nice uh, Guanamataria Habana Cuban cigar. Very nice stuff. Pretty cheap and affordable cigars. Yeah, I think it's about 25 bucks for a box of five. So it's pretty good. It's not too bad. This one's been sitting in the humidor for some time now. So uh, it's actually really good. I'm surprised. It's been in there for about mm, two months now. Before Christmas, I think I bought these. So maybe three months. I don't know. It's been in there for some time now. And I was actually quite surprised. It tastes really good. You know? Nice ash on it. Gotta go. That's that's looking good. But uh, they're very decent cigars. If you ever see them in your travels, pick one up. You know, they're not a big deal if you don't smoke at all, or you know, if it doesn't burn right or something like that. They're pretty uh, affordable little cigars. But uh, just wanted to talk about the old YouTube wanting to use your first name. I uh, bit the bull today and uh, signed up for that crap. Basically, wanted to use, wants you to use your first name and your last name. I figure I'd just go with my first name, and then I'll put Angry Chin for my last name. Makes it a little bit easier, I guess, when you're replying to comments instead of, you know, Angry Chin. You can just reply to me to my first name. I really don't care either, to be honest with you. I just hope that it uh, stops shitting the bed. Because it's still acting up with the subscribers. The people I'm subscribed to. It says I'm not to subscribe to them anymore, so... I think one day I went through almost half my list of people and had to keep describing and certain people was like three, four, five times. And then for some reason, uh, my video views weren't going up. It said it was going up on one page and the other page it wasn't going up and all that fun stuff. So I don't know what the problem was, but good old YouTube. That's why we don't pay for it because it's free. Which is not a big deal. I really don't care. But uh, yeah, for the most part. Outside of my nice deck, enjoying a cigar and maybe plus one weather. Very nice stuff. Starting to snow a little bit, but for the most part, it's a very nice, quiet night. Good to sit back and have a cigar and unwind and relax. Singing us some new ideas, and uh, I might do a new, like a little series. I uh, call what the fact Canada. And uh, might explain to some of the people that aren't from Canada of all of our stupid laws that we have. I was thinking about it last time. Uh, I'll give you an example right now for our liquor laws. Um, I guess it might be just Ontario. I don't know if it's widespread. It might be different in each province in Canada. But in Ontario, our liquor is maintained by the LCBO, which is also pretty much governed by the government. And we have the beer store. You know, I can't go to my corner store and buy a six pack or a twelve pack or a Mickey. I have to go to the, either the beer store or I have to go either to the LCBO. And uh, the LCBO hours are pretty much like banking hours. I think they open at ten in the morning and they close at nine most nights. And on Saturdays they close at six. So if you're out and a freaking drinking on a Saturday night, you better get to the LCBO quick, boy, or she's closing up on you. And then, uh, I know in Quebec, and then, well, sorry, and then Ontario, and pretty much all, every place in Canada, uh, Canada, every province, except for, uh, Quebec, you gotta be 19 or older to drink, which I don't know if that's everywhere, I know States is 21, but for international, I don't have a clue, so, that's another thing. So when I was 18, I used to run over to Quebec all the time, because we just live, uh, right across the river from it. And uh, we go over there and drink and come all the way back and all that fun stuff. And also, I don't know if it's Ontario or right across the board, I'm not sure. But I know for a fact, if you have your full license now, and if you're not over 21, you, can have, you can't have any liquor in your system at all. You can't have not even one beer and drive. So, because they're finding a lot of kids are getting an access for the 21 with having a beer or two in the system. So that's pretty wild, because when I got my full license, I was allowed to have uh, a, a, two beers, I think it was. But they're starting to change all the laws now, so that's just a little example of some of the crazy laws we have in Canada that we have to abide by. Well, of course, our smoking law, too. Can't smoke indoors, of course, any establishments, 
Uh, they don't have cigar bars no more. They ban them too. And uh, it got to the point where they're gonna try and ban them from golf courses too. Even outside in golf courses, you wouldn't be able to smoke, which is kind of dumb. So uh, yeah, what else about? That's pretty much about it. I don't know about prices though. I know in Canada you could pay up to maybe for a case of Heineken for 24 Heineken you pay 50 bucks, and uh, for a bottle of uh, vodka 26 or 26 ounces you pay about. I don't know. Last time I checked, it was 27 dollars. So. I'm not sure if our prices are any different from anywhere else. I'm pretty sure they are. But, uh... Oh, crap. That's about it, though. And, uh... What was the other thing? Oh, and they actually want to try and make it that they can sell beer in, uh... in, uh, corner stores now, too. So, they're going to try and fight it. I think it's a great idea. I think it's pretty cool in Montreal or Quebec. You can go over and buy beer at the corner store. I think it's great. Better hours and all that. <laughs> But uh, we'll see what happens though. But I'm just gonna, you know, just thought I had the idea tossed around. Maybe I'll do like a what happened in Canada week recap. Because there's a lot of crazy shit that happens in Canada that nobody hears about. There's a, there's a ton of stuff that happened on this week, so uh, we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll do one tomorrow. Maybe I'll do some research tonight and throw a video up. I don't know. Something new, something different. And then uh, we'll go from there, my friends. For the most part, you have yourselves a great night. I'm going to finish smoking my Cristal Cigar. Very good stuff. Lost a little bit of flavor now. So, we'll see what happens. But, uh, other than that, decent cigar. By all means, pick one up if you see them. If you're in Canada, go get one. And if you see them anywhere else, try them out. So, very good, affordable Cuban. That's it for me. You all have a good evening. We'll talk to you later.